Okay, that's enough of that. I thought about making a super spiffy trailer, but seeing as how no one reads FAQ, I'm going to explain what this 1950s event is all about. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. First things first, this is a temporary event. This means it is not permanent. So if you don't have the Saber or the MiG-15 and you are sweating, then don't sweat too much. This event will last about 24 to 48 hours maximum and will replace the current scenarios on the server. Next question, why are we doing this? There are a lot of different reasons, but the important one is really that, well, why not? Our server is probably the largest server in DCS. We have the numbers to potentially populate niche events or eras that never get any attention. So why not try? There is something really nice and fun about these 1950 airplanes, and it has been about two years since I have flown with them in an era specific setting. Some people were late to the Cold War train and or never experienced World War II. This is to give everyone a taste. If people like these events, we will sprinkle in a few a year. A helicopter-only Cypress mission, for example, may be a fun one to do in the future. Now that this is explained, let's talk about the event. This event is a fictional 1950 scenario based in Syria. Why Syria? Because it's the best map in DCS, because of the flexibility it gives with how many airfields it has. Here is the entire plane list. One of the reasons why I did not make a super spiffy trailer and I'm sitting here to explain things is so I can address some points. Yes, we are having World War II planes. Now, the stupid question I will get bombarded with, why are the German planes blue? Is Enigma trying to say something political here? In teasing this out and also seeing how I have organized planes based on blue versus red in past videos, I know this question is going to come up. Let me be very clear. If you are surprised that the Luftwaffe planes are on blue, it's probably because you aren't really a long time flight sim player. The standard set by IL-2 1946 and then continued by IL-2 Great Battles is that the Axis powers are always blue. The Soviets and the British style themselves in red. I have no idea why some DCS servers put the Germans on red. It stands at odds with the rest of the flight sim games. Next question, why is the P-47 and Mosquito red? Simple, the MiG-15 sucks at air to ground. Unlike other past Korea events that other servers have done, we are doing this in the ECW style which means that there is a big emphasis on air to ground. The Sabre is just simply better at air to ground. Doing bombing in a MiG-15 feels like dropping grenades out of a biplane. The Spitfire P-47 and the Mosquito were all exported to the Soviets during World War II, so this is actually somewhat historical. The exact dates of this event will be announced on our Discord in the Cold War server section. It will take place on the weekend in either late August or early September. We hope that people enjoy themselves with this event. The staff jumped on this idea rather fast, and we threw together the mission, so I want to thank them for their help, especially Igloo and Hard to Kidnap. Without their help, this would not have been possible, as I got very busy. Lastly, because this is a temporary event, please note that this isn't supposed to be super fleshed out and, ba and like a super balanced scenario. It's temporary, it's just a throwaway mission, and supposed to just give people a taste of something different for a weekend. We hope to see you there. If you want to support the server, then please consider subscribing as this server acts as a mouthpiece for the server. Let me know what plane you plan on flying in the event below. More engagement means more reach and it will let more people know that this is going on, so please leave a comment. Thank you.